Hi there, we're back to Ishuma now. Oh wow, that was really fast. Okay, so uh, we got the outmaneuver, and we're fighting another Ishuma. Yeah, I'd say this is a really great start. Not bad at all. We got the ambush. Pretty good. Cool. Unfortunately, since... Oh man, it's actually a really big disadvantage going second when you're Ashuma sometimes. Holy crap. Or when you're against an Ashuma, that is. I mean, getting... Hmm. Getting that outmaneuver... Getting turn one, placing a low-cost creature, and then outmaneuvering is really great. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Didn't really think about it that way, but... We can play this, and maybe we can use it to kill this off. Mm, might be good. Hmm. Or do we want to save it? You know what? I'm going to place it while I can. So that I can actually um, kill off his stuff and get that board advantage, which is desperately needed with the Shuma. And later on, what I kind of want to do is build up a melee line. Alright, cool. So there we go. I can just do this, play this back here, move this over, kill it. Fairly standard. It's, you know, it's the Shuma Firebolt. It's bread and butter. It's what you do to get rid of the early stuff. And then now, yeah, I definitely want to build up my line and then use my Snow Maiden in the back to do the two damage constantly. So right now, what do I need? <clears throat> well, what I'd like to do is finish off... You know what? To maintain board control, it might be actually worth outmaneuvering right now. Oddly enough. It sounds weird, but it might actually be worth doing. So I'm going to use my current board control to get rid of his board. Because that's sort of what a Shume is. you got to battle for the battlefield. So yeah. Coming out with his own, which means it's fine. I can just outmaneuver that. And I probably will. I have another one of these, which may be great. I can actually use that to kill that off if I want. And then prevent anything from being placed back here, but this would likely die. Or I could play it up here, where it would very quickly die as well. Or alternatively, I can place this, which has honor 1, and get off an extra 3 damage. Which would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a lot of damage. Hmm... No, wait, it'll only get two damage off. What am I even thinking about there? Okay, well... Thinking... Maybe this? To kill off this instead? No. Definitely not. I want to save this. Hmm. In that case... Frozen Touch, Hypnotize. We don't have any outmaneuver except for this. Okay, well... This could be worse, so I'll just play this. And move this down, kill it off, do the damage, get another creature to block. Oh wait, it dies immediately. What am I even thinking about? And we're going to need no more might, actually. What we need is more destiny, perhaps. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's 5 a.m. So, yeah, you'll have to forgive me if, I, uh, if I'm making some poor plays. I always record at night. I actually can play during the day, but I don't actually have the time to record in silence at night. Too much noise otherwise. Okay, so I can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 8, 9 damage. Total. Not so great. Mm, alternatively, I can play this and kill off his creature here, which would be important. But at the same time, I also need to kill that off. Can I do it both? No, because this is three resources. Right. Okay, well, I could also prevent from attacking in addition to playing this might also work so I'll do that and kill this off do the damage I need and then prevent them from attacking and he's going to move this up probably to do some damage because that's what I would do but I'm gonna say you can't attack there we go and get the more might up, which we don't really need because we haven't got our... Uh, we have plenty of options right now in the lower cost range. But if we run out of those options rather fast, well, I will need the might, I suppose. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's totally reasonable. Saves his stalker, which he's going to need. And another one comes out, that's pretty good. And I got my own, which won't be so much help right now. 
I can only do three, four, five damage to his face. But I can do four damage to something. Or five, actually. If I play the, uh, the honor one right now. And that will let me kill this off. Might be necessary. Hmm. Killing that off would be really good, though. Let's see, four, five, six, seven. Now I can actually do that. So I'm going to do this. And that, late, that lets me kill this off with... This has immune to retaliation. There we go. It's gone. And then I can use this to finish off his, which is perfect. Excellent. However, of course, he does have the resources to just lay one down immediately and play his own and then use his ability, which he's, he's going to do right there. Probably use it right to kill the honor, of course. Saves him from damage that would be otherwise lethal. He's going to have to block as well. He has the resources to do it. What I would like to have is some outmaneuver right now. That would be really nice. Okay, so this actually has outmaneuver, which means... Let's see here. I would have to finish this off. Or I can finish this off, outmaneuver to move it down. Yep. Yeah. It's not anchored, and that'll let me do the four damage. Right, so finish that off. Outmaneuver, move this down. Do the four damage. And I've won the battlefield! Blah, blah, blah. Yay! Excellent. So yeah, it just goes to show exactly how important um, board control is. I mean, <clears throat> that guy was spewing out loads and loads of creatures, but uh, if I didn't get that early advantage, I think I probably would have been screwed there. Because, uh... Yeah, having those um, snow maidens that he was throwing out in the back, just sort of moving around while his buffed up melees in the front. Uh, that would have led to some serious defeat there. Yeah. I'll see you next time.